How to create a max mega menu in WordPress. In this video, we're going to be talking about WordPress and how you are going to be creating one of the most incredible looking max mega menus for yourself. Okay. Now, max mega menus are basically proper menus up here in the navigation bar that could open up to a very big, you know, widget and people can navigate through that to very big details or pages in your store. Now to add that to your store is a big step and to add that what you're going to do is you're going to come over to the plugins. Okay, so you're going to install the plugin that is needed for a max mega menu. So for this, what you're going to do is you're going to search up max mega menu over here. Okay, so max mega menu pretty straightforward. Once you search this up, you're going to enter it in. And now that we have entered it in, we have all these uh, different types of plugins that we can use for ourselves, but I'm going to go with this one over here. Okay. Now, once we go with this one, we're going to click on install and activate. And once we click on install and activate, that should fully set us up with the main things. So once you've gone with this, we're going to click on back to plugins. And now that you've clicked on back to plugins, what happens from there is you're properly set it up. So once you set yourself up, what you can do is you can go over to your website's editor now, okay? And you can add a lot of different menu items for yourself accordingly. So let's say I'm going to come over to the mega menu application down here. Now, once we click on that, that takes us to the WordPress admin, which takes us to the mega menu section. Now, once we're over here, first of all, you're going to want to go ahead and add a mega menu location for yourself because here it says add a menu location below, then display the menu using the max mega menu block widget or short code. So I'm going to click on add another menu location. Once you click on add another menu location here, it gives you the location name first of all. So the location name that I'm going to be adding is let's say um, header. Okay. That's what we're calling it. Then it says assign a menu where you can select a place to assign a menu. You can either add it in your main primary or assign the menu later. I'm going to go with my main menu and click on add menu location. Okay. Now, once you do that, you're going to come to this section where it opens up the menu location. Okay. So here are your general settings, advanced and display options. So in the general settings, what we're going to do is first of all, we're going to enable the max menu for this location. I'm going to obviously keep that as a tick. Then we have the location description as header Then you have event and you can select the event to trigger sub menus. So you have hover intent, hover and click. So I'm going to go to hover intent and it has effect. You can select the sub menu animation type as well. It could be fade up, slide, slide up, etc. Then the speed, I'm going to keep it at a medium. Now it says effect mobile. Okay. Choose a style for your mobile menu. So I'm going to go to style. I'm going to go to slide down and let's keep it fast. Now it also asks you to choose the theme for yourself. I'm going to go at the default theme and click on save changes. All right. So once you've saved changes for that, what that does is it saves the menu location. Then you can also go into the advanced behavior. So first of all, we have click event behavior where, you know, first click opens the sub menu. Second click will open the, or the second click will close the sub menu. So obviously you're going to want to keep this accordingly to yourself as well. And you have different mobile sub menu behaviors. Uh, you have default site behaviors, item descriptions, and a whole lot more. And finally, we also have display options where we can choose different display areas for us. Okay. So, add the max mega menu and a whole lot more. So once we've gone through that, I'm going to click on save changes. And once we click on save changes, you know, we're good with the actual menu recurring locations. Now moving on, you have menu themes. Okay. So you can actually set a different styled theme for your menu by adding different variations in it and adding different features in it. All right. So to add different variations in it, what you are going to be doing is first of all, you're going to give your theme a title. Okay. I'm going to keep it at default right now. And it says, you know, arrows. What are the arrow styles you want? I'm going to keep the arrow styles like this as well. Or you can change it accordingly. Let's say I want it like this. All right. Then it says line height. Now, these are things that you can set, obviously, accordingly with your editor's reference. So you can, you know, slowly go to your editor, check things out. If everything looks good, come back to this section and go on ahead and edit more. Then we have things like shadow where you can apply shadows to mega and fly out menus. I'm going to go ahead and apply that because, you know, generally it looks pretty good. 
and you can keep the actual dimensions to the shadows as well. And once you've done this, you're going to click on save. Then we have other settings as well. So first of all, we have menu bar. You can choose a menu background for yourself. So let's say I'm going to go with a darker maroon color and I'm going to switch it to black. You can add menu paddings, which basically differentiates your width. OK, it differentiates how off your menu is from the actual section header and a whole lot more. Then moving on set borders, you can keep your item fonts. You can keep a hover option accordingly. If you want, you can also go to mega menus main section. You can keep a panel background. Again, I'm going to go from that to a white. And you can choose your outer and inner width. And again, go through the different settings that it gives you because it actually goes really deep into the main settings. It goes through uh, the actual necessities you need when it comes to editing menus like these for yourself. OK, so you're going to make sure to keep a good contact of these. And once you're gone with that, again, make sure to save changes with every section you edit. OK, so we have fly ad menus, mobile menus, and then add your custom stylings as well. So you can add a CSS code or a JavaScript code in this section for yourself for custom styling tips, too. So once you've done that, you can also go over to the general settings that it provides you. Now, the general setting is do you want CSS output, basically, which saves your CSS content to the actual file system. Now for this, you will need the pro extension. Okay, Max Mega Menu has a free extension that obviously we have, and then a pro extension for which you're gonna need to come here to upgrade to pro if you want to. But I'm gonna skip that. We're also gonna move over to tools. So with these tools, first of all, you can delete the whole plugin data. So if you want to remove the Max Mega Menu totally with the different navigations, different pages, and different widgets it provides you, you're just going to click on Delete Plugin Data, and that should do it for you. You can also clear cache for yourself. So the menu CSS can get updated each time a menu theme is changed. All right. So you're going to want to clear CSS cache if your menu gets slow. Okay. And once you have done all of this and you've added the correct menu locations, what this does is it saves everything in. And now what you can do is you can go over to your stores editor. So let's say I'm going to come to this section over here. And in this section over here, as we can see, we don't have a mega menu yet. OK, so to add a mega menu for yourself, what you can do is you can switch from the site viewer to the actual site editor. And once you're in the site editor, from there, what you can move over and do is basically go into your editor from here. And you can change the necessary settings that you want to mess with through the site editor and the actual navigation editor. So if you come over to navigation, you can create these different mega menus by dropping and dragging things right under your list. Okay. So you can choose how your menu displays things. OK, so just like this, you can create a drop down. So if someone clicks on this, you're going to see that a drop down is initiated from here. And just like this, you can add your mega menu through the menu section. So let me go over back to my main WordPress page and in your main WordPress dashboard section. Again, we're going to go to appearance. We're going to go to menus. And once we go to menus, you're going to make sure that your mega menu header location is included. OK, so here we can see this is included over here. We're going to click on save and we have the menu settings over here as well. We're going to click on save menu again. And obviously the menu name is called main. So you can also finally go ahead and check for its locations recurrently if you want to. So it's in the header called the main. And once this is done, again, what you can do is you can go into the viewing of your website. And once you go into the viewing of your website, it takes a few seconds to load in. But once you have your main menu portrayed over here, that should automatically add a mega menu straight into your page straight away. So that is pretty much all there is when it comes to adding a max mega menu in your WordPress in the easiest way. So if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. 
Till then, that is all from me, and I'll be seeing all of you in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.